ago, 20 years ago, at Loyola Marymount University, we had like one of our first shows, and it was like summertime, 1996. And we brought Taboo in the group that me and Alfred E. F. started called the Black Eyed Peas. Oh yeah. And we we wanted to have a, a little get together show reminiscent of the original concept of Black Eyed Peas and that is making music about feel good, love, family, and like just having a good time. With all the things that are happening in the world right now, I think we need a little bit more love. What'd you say, Will? What'd you say? So, with no further ado, me and the motherfucking crew, we gonna get, 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 get give it to you, 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 you. Hey! Bring on the drums, drums. Hey. Bring on the keys, keys. Uh -huh. Bring on the guitar, please, please, please. Bring on the bass. Because the bass keeps running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Here we go. Running, running, and running, running, and running, 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 running,
let me a movie Inside the club or in your building Get thirsty, live and sleep
1992, we were signed to Ruthless. Yeah. And when Easy E passed away, bless his rest in peace, bless his soul, we started Black Eyed Peas. And we made this song that got us our deal. And the lyric was like simple. It's lyric, Apple wrote the lyric. He was like, yo, check this lyric out. First off, let me tell you something about Apple the Apple. I met Apple the Apple in 1989. He came off the freaking airplane from the jungles of the Philippines. Not knowing people. He didn't know a, li a liquor. Yo, give me some chords so we can make this emotional. <laughs> he didn't know no English. <laughs> I knew one. He didn't know no English, right? And then, like, he was an ESL, English as a second language in high school and shit. And he was, like, straight up foul. Like, this is the coolest foul on the planet. Fabulous, fabulous. It's like fresh off the boat. This nigga was like fresh off the boat, right? And we knew each other, like we were like best friends because my mom was strict and he's the only dude I can hang out with. <laughs> then two years later, me and him signed with Easy e Like go figure, like what? We've only been speaking English two years and got a record deal with Rufus Records again. That's like, big dream of something like Tip Ray. <laughs> then, Taboo joins the group. And, and Apple, Four years speaking English, he's like, yo, check out this lyric. He says, because we everything about the Black Eyed Peas is like optimism, positivity, like progress, let's keep it on the positive, everything, right? We be falling up. Beyond what you think they tell you you can reach, we freaking reach. It's a little too emotional. <laughs> Alright, so we reach. And he comes in the studio, he's like, yo, check out this lyric, Will. I'm like, yo, let me hear that shit. We be falling like, up. We be falling up, never falling down. We keep it on a high level, elevated ground, whether in your area, city, or your town. But Black Eyed Peas is known for getting down. I heard you. Apple was on the bus. 
writing these lyrics. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going somewhere. <laughs> we were going somewhere on our journey. We, we were roommates. No, when he says bus, he's talking about RTD. RTD. Yeah. RTD. And you know, in LA, like, motherfuckers be riding a bus, like, that's like low, 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 low. So we was like low, started low, but low below the bottom, with a mean streak in my back pocket. Because we was tagging. Yeah. Motherfuckers was tagging, right? We was tagging. So, <laughs> so, 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 so then, so then, so then, Al and me were sitting in the back of the bus, and I remember him writing, and he just kept saying, I was like, damn, what the hell is we be fucking up? Then he starts writing the rest of it. He says, yo, Tam, got something. So we go to Will. And whose studio was he at? Benyat? Ben we was at Benyat's ben 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 Yo, Benyat, you in the house? Put your hands up. Where you over at, Ben? Here, over here, over here. There you are. Yo, we went to that motherfucker's bedroom. <laughs> on the way, wait, wait, wait. I'm studio. Studio. No, studio. 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 All I was like, oh, so. So, so we, we had his studio bedroom, and it was a Friday. I remember it was a Friday because Ben's mom and dad is like, Will, you have to leave. It's Shabbat, and you have to get out. <laughs> so for people who don't know Shabbat, that's like Jewish sacred Friday night dinner. You got to leave the house at 6 o'clock. He's like, Will, it's Shabbat. You have to leave. You have to leave. I was like, but I ain't finished the rhyme yet. Will, get out. You have to leave. I was like, but we be falling up. No, you are getting kicked out. <laughs> Anyways, with no further ado, we want to show you the song that got us our record deal. This song's called Falling Up. Hey, 
shit, I'm cool. I got talent so I can get through. But dog, cause the way that you doing it, I think you know correct to hold it. Pop time, so you ain't gotta follow up. Yo, Dave Hayes, what's up with the reverb? Oh shit, I got a flashback. Flashback, flashback. My name is Ronald from the town called Los Angeles, profound, I astound it. I mean, outstanding, demanding. Punk motherfuckers don't know where I be landing. Up at high flights, flying. Well, I am on a cup, no denying that I be freestyling, keep it hot like a flying. Pot cooking motherfucking shit, y'all, you lying. You know that motherfuckers know I ain't a dollar bottle for what the fuck? You wanna rob against a champion? Nigga, I be up on a cup, yo, you clapping it, hands in the air, and you know you wanna stare at me, watch your fucking camera, but I don't prepare you in a pair for the beast. Nigga, I'm the beast, yo, I got a piece and I put it in the air like, yo, yo, at least we over here, have a family, motherfuckers wanna come, but they really can't handle me. You know that I'm scandalous from East Los Angeles. Yeah, I speak Spanish, bitch. And she gone, my she gone. Motherfucker wanna rock, but you can't really perform. The way I perform, nigga, I, I, I put it on. I get it down like this with a sound like this. Motherfuckers wanna surround like this. Yeah, your motherfuckers gonna get this like this. Don't have it and go and dap on your ass like this. Fuck it, bitch. Don't mean to cuss if your kids is listening to this. Me and my crew, we like a, a, a pile of pies yeah. Because I slice it up and dish it out What the good a piece if you get a bigger piece The piece is out Yo, it's like equality Equal piece for me, equal piece for you That's what it's gotta be yeah. Cause if it's not, it's just gonna cause aggression We a blue on the microphone and manifest it Drop stylus like this, I'm a professional No ass rhyming like this I suggest this MCs escape out of the door Cause what they know I got for the store It's up when I am on the cup So you can record it and see it a few and a few in a time. So, Sit and see the crew to know that I rhyme. Motherfucker, I can rhyme with my eyes as prime. Put a rhyme from the soul. Get my mama, it's a man of rhyme. That's a bitch on the keys and on the trumpet. No, 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 we rock the whole song. Pump it. She hit the guitar really raw. She's a guitarist. I think she need to be a guitar star. Yeah. My motherfucker, I'm like, oh. Uh, you wanna know who I am? It's what I am. Oops, what I am. And who I be? Motherfucking black man with a black eye. Like he hit like in a skunk, reeking like Dizzy's after his feet. The stitch didn't come till after this beat. Smelling like drawers, no reason, no pause. Put your stand before the speaker, get down and ask pause. You knew we was coming before we get to the door. Cause you could smell the rap when we was walking down the hall. Who made the fuck boys never wait, y'all? Thinking like that, they chilling our arm. Uh, we keep the party jumping like them bullfrogs. They keep the party jumping like them bullfrogs. First one to start, they ain't the one who dealt it. Black eyed peas keep the set fly like Delta. Funky like onions, you crying? Man, you ain't lying, hold up. Sorry, what I asked, I didn't to hit you. I wanna do the shit, didn't mean to dismiss you. I wanna do the shit, I wanna get like rich. Do this whole thing, I might be that picture. Call me Kershaw from the dot the dot. Only when I be rockin', I'm not the robber 
I rip a steel cause I'm the hip hop culture Fuck the hip hop vultures Cause I don't like those people that be fighting the rhymes And talking like the phone that they ain't fighting the lines And they ain't writing the rhymes They just spit the shit and bullshit Yo, the shit needs to quit Talk about me, you're not got peace for me I'm doing this thing, I'm from the T-A-B Green, I'm T-A-B, double O-U-C I'm a Native American and that be me I'm a Mexicano man, yo, that be me With the Filipino man, yeah, that's how we be With Will I Am, from East L.A. Tapu in the fucking fat kid, I'm Orale Cause I do it my way uh, What's up, Bono? You brought your family, yeah, too uh, I rock down stuff Cause I'm taboo uh, If you feel it, oh shit You feel it real good uh, I see the people from the neighborhood uh, I see my people from my neighborhood uh, So I need you to pronounce like this uh, Say hola, hola, hola Now I just want it, now I just say sick Can I just say sick, up when I've been quick Do my own thing, I wish I could bleed myself away Like the roots back, back in the day Shout out to a tribe called West anyway My man fight, rest in peace I got hip hop culture, I'm the beast I'm the guy that dances on the dance floor too A straight b-boy, ain't no hard do Taboo from the, the black I be true Doing my thing, yo, how do you do? I need to go over, up the microphone and slow, that it goes, hold up. Did you feel this shit? Let me hear you make some noise, yo. I like that. I like that, you like We got a pivot war to where like Sony offered us a million bucks. I remember the first time we got an offer for like 75,000 grand. We were like, yo, 75 grand? And then that whole bit world took us to a million dollars. We were like, our minds blown. Mind you, we're still in the projects. They still still stealing chicken from freaking bonds. <laughs> Jimmy Ivy was like, you know, you could sign with Sony for a million dollars. But if you don't sell records, that'll be the last record you make. If you sign with me at Interscope for 450 grand, you can make records no matter how many records you sell. So we were like, what? But don't forget, we were gonna sign for 75 grand just two months before. But there was something about things that Jimmy placed in front of us this reality to define ourselves and culture ourselves so we didn't have like this loony corporate structure telling us what to do every single decision we made was me and this motherfucker's decision us three freaking best freaking friends thick and thin who gives a fuck what else is gonna lose you go back to the Philippines I go back to freaking East LA I'm not going back to my mom's couch <laughs> what else is there to lose y'all we dreamers trying to make dreams reality. And here we are. This is the song that sealed that deal. I remember I came up with it. I was like, yo. I remember I, some guy was like, we gave them, we gave them falling up, but the dude was like, I mean, it's a pretty cool song. It's not tangible. You need something more hooky. I was like, really hooky? Shit, I'll give you hooky. <laughs> she said, that's the joint, that's the jam, turn that shit up. Play it again, that's the joint, that's the jam, turn that shit up, play it again. We said that's the joint, that's the jam, turn that shit up, play it again. I like the way the rhythm make me jump and boom, they got the feeling I make you wanna do my do. Got me when I draw to my grips, got blue. And when you hear the clock, let me call on the blue. But then I hug, get up on the floor, stop on the shot. Why you cross that, not running like a job. And maybe I can go on with a clock, that's what I'm on. Keep on breaking that, boom, and give me straight on. Thank you.
She was like, no, Willie, I don't. Like, imagine you not being able to give your child a dollar. That's real. Life is real. Then I mean, this guy. And I'm like, yo, dude, I, I got all these ideas. My, 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 he taught me how to fucking like, turn my shit and make it real. Yeah. So, I don't know if I ever told you how much I appreciate that motivate because you didn't have to. There's a lot of greedy motherfuckers that's like, Nah, nigga, I'm gonna do this all by myself. And you just sit there in the corner, little nigga. Like, he was like, You got too many ideas. Let me sit you right down and show you how to do this shit. <laughs> so, for real, for thank you, bro. Oh, also, uh, you know, in the beginning of our career, you know, uh, we were homeless at some point. I was working at Burbank, uh, Burbank AMC Theaters, uh, mixing nacho cheese at the concession stand. And then, you know, I'm like, you know, I would just want to pursue my dream and make demos and fuck this job and motivate me, motivate me, uh, let me stay in this, uh, in this uh, couch and uh, do, 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 do. And for me, I want to say this. I was part of a, a group called Pablo with Mr. Shaw. Mr. Shaw's in the area. I was part of this spoken word group. And I remember it was my first time being in the studio. And I was like 17, 18 years old. And I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't rhyme really well. I, I was just not catching the beat. He was like, come on, Jack. He had a two in his mouth. Come on, Jack. Man, get with the professionalism. Get with the professionalism. I was like, Damn, motivates me. No, no. This motherfucker was a dick, bro. Was, I'll, I'll, be, be, like, fuck I'll be making it. beats and shit. I'll be like, yo, motivate, listen to this beat. Think that's what? Like, what do you mean it's what? She's messy, man. Make that shit tighter, man. Don't think about this cop. He was like, yo, you didn't truck kick that the kicks right, man. Shit is whack, man. Turn that fucking kick down. You blow my speakers out. Yo, you guys gotta get out of the studio by a certain time. Thanks, bro. Give it up for Motivate! Yo, no, but you know what? Look at this tough love. If, if we didn't have people like motivated, if we didn't have each other to inspire us, and to keep us motivated, to go after our dreams, even if we felt like it was us against the world, the most important thing is that we stuck together and we were on the same path together. You know what I'm saying? So, this next song we're about to do, I remember in 2001, we were in Bodega Bay. September. All of all, the whole summer, this time to September 13th, 2001, we were in San Francisco with David Bay riding Elephone. And the day that we were supposed to start our tour, September 12th, we were packing up our studio to start our tour. And then the craziest stuff happened 9 11. 
And we were like, do we still have to go on tour? So I called my grandma, like, Nanny, the tour is not canceled. She's like, really? Ain't nothing gonna happen. You get your butt out there and you do what God have you supposed to go out there. Yeah. Yeah. So we went on tour September the 12th, all throughout America, and came back home November the 22nd, and we were going to this club that Sarah Pinterri used to throw called AD. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, Prince, this Prince. I'm like, yo, let's, let's wrap up the session. I don't, I, don't, I want to go to AD. He was like, yo, you got one more in you. Let's make another, another song right quick. I was like, okay, let's see what we can do in 30 minutes. And the song that we wrote in 30 minutes after that tour Where's was Where's the Love.
super dope. And there's some of the students that are part of this contest that we're doing for this app and these headphones and this like mentorship turning artists into entrepreneurs. And these guys are freaking amazing talent. Super dope talent. And I wanna, I wanna like, I want them to like improv over this right now. I don't that flew over your head. Either one, airplanes over your head. Listen, I said, I don't fuck with bullshit. Cause I can turn that shit to fertilize up. Oh yeah. That's still over your head. That's still over your head. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh, let's go. People killing, people dying. Children hurting in their science. Would you practice what you preach? Would you turn the other sheep? Father, 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 help us.
can't hear you. I can't hear you. You can't hear you. I like it. I like it. I think you gotta hear it, bro. I heard. I think I gotta hear it, bro. I heard. I think I gotta hear it, bro. I heard. I think you gotta hear it, bro. I think I got a party problem. All I do is drink, drink, drink. Yeah. Think I got a party problem. All I do is drink, drink, drink. Oh, think I got a worry problem. All I do is think, think, think. I think I, I, I think I got a. I ain't got no problem. Let's party, nigga. Let's drink, drink, drink. Hey, I don't give a fuck what you, what you think, think, think. Hey. But thank y'all for coming. Really, really. Thank, thank, thank. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Get out, get out, get out. It's my birthday and I want to party with everybody tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Really, it is Taboo's birthday. Four months. Technically, technically, it was last night, but we was preparing the show for today. So we had to work a little bit, so I said, you know what, I Will? We're going to celebrate tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so with that being said, let's do, let's do the regular... Um, Happy birthday party. Then we're gonna do the all black lives matter see the wonder version. <laughs> so so let's so let's <laughs> Okay, we are here. Alright, we're gonna show it. We get what we get now. One, two, three. Celebrating my beautiful people in the house tonight. I said, which better way to celebrate my beautiful people tonight? What are we going to tonight, Apple? Uh, should I sing it? Okay, be quiet. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You made it seem like we were on stage in front of 80,000 people. Maybe it's like two, uh, less than 100 people here. Uh, should I say, yeah, All right, it's, it's at my house. No, <laughs> We're gonna be a filler. <laughs> okay. Should I say? Filler. Wait, filler? Apple D app, tell them where filler's at. Uh, I think so, Melrose. <laughs> you right? Right, Chanel? Melrose by San Vicente! Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a real, real, real good time because we did. No, 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 no. I said I hope you have a really good time because we did. Big shout out to the cast. Super dope. You guys are super dope. Big shout out to everybody that came out tonight to celebrate a wonderful night. Thank you. Big shout out to all the personal friends that have gone with us to this wonderful journey. Yep. Yeah. Are we 